What's up guys, welcome to your 30, 32nd Android tutorial where again we're going to play use this um, or play with this text play for the most part activity I know it's kind of boring because you know text is no fun for the most part but we're again going to work within this uh, where's the fridge checking statement and we're going to set up something called a switching case now this is going to be pretty important for pretty a lot of things that we're going to do basically what a switching case is is we're gonna say hey this is what I'm looking for that's called the switch that question for the most part and then we're gonna have a lot of answers and those are called cases so if we have a case of a certain answer we can do something within that method for the most part it's kinda of hard to explain without showing you guys so let's just set it up we're gonna say switch and uh, within the switch we're gonna give it three choices so we're gonna say you know either 0, 1, 2, um, basically those could be our answers. So it's, the question is for the most part, what number are you? And how we're going to do that is we're going to again use our random variable that we set up. So we're going to say crazy dot next int and then we're going to say 3. So that's going to give us three choices and then we just need to set up a new pair of brackets, hit enter, and now we can set up our cases. But again, this is just going to give us a random number for the most part. And it, the number is going to have three, or basically three choices, or um, yeah, three things that it can choose from. But the number is actually that it's going to display is 0, 1, and 2. So as you can see, those are three numbers, and that's what we're going to set up our cases to, uh, cases to be. So basically, um, we're giving it a random number and now we can set up a case so we're gonna say case zero because if we get a random and it's equal to zero we can do whatever is within here and then um, we're gonna hit a break statement and then we can say case one and then a col colon um, and then a break statement and then we can also have lastly case two and again a break statement now basically it's going to give us a random number and if we get the answer of zero uh, we can do whatever's in here and then it's going to break our case and it's not even going to look at anything else because it already found the zero that's basically what the break is and uh, you know if it's one it's also going to do whatever within here and two it's going to do it it's going to do whatever is within here sorry and so now what we're going to do is basically have this crazy just set our gravity so we're just going to copy and paste some of these um, such as the, set the gravity left in the case 0 and then um, set the gravity to the center as for case 1 and set the gravity to the right for case 3 or case 2 I'm sorry whoops what's going on alright and so basically that's what I wanted to show you guys in this tutorial is basically we can set up a switch where it's give us give us some you know choices to choose from and then it looks for the answer and we can define a method within there and also the other thing that's important in this tutorial is this uh, crazy uh, or I'm sorry a random variable when we put three here we're still going to have three choices for the most part but those choices aren't going to be one two three for example they're going to always start at zero, so it's going to be zero, one, two. So now let's just save it and run our application and see what what happens for the most part. And also, maybe one last thing that we're going to do is set uh, display dot set color here to uh, let's see. I don't know. White, I believe, is the default not positive so there we go we're gonna resave this oh set text color I'm sorry and then uh, we're gonna save this and run it again and uh, there we go here's our text play and we can just say you know Travis and we're gonna get invalid and let's just check some other things we're gonna say blue and it's gonna change your text to blue and also have it be become blue um, and then again if we say something else it's gonna go back to the invalid uh, that's basically the, el the last else in our if else clause and uh, let's try 
our new method where's the fridge and if we just cl keep clicking our try it's gonna kinda set it up in a random place random color random size and random gravity for the most part so hopefully you guys kinda understand the random and basically what this app application can do and everything that we've done with it um, I think it's a pretty good kinda introduction to the Java for the most part and working with the text view uh, and how to use some of those methods so again thanks guys for watching and so, and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.